This program, Fannie Mae Home Path, this is actually one of the best programs that's available. Here's why. Fannie Mae owns a lot of properties, but Fannie Mae wants to get rid of these properties that they own. So they let you um, basically purchase a property with very good discounts, very, very cheap financing, and if the air conditioner is missing, they don't care. No appraisal, 3% down. This is better than FHA. Okay. No MI. How much down? 3%. And unlike FHA, if you're an investor, you can buy it. 15% down. So that's what we're going to go over. A brief overview, we're going to go over who we are, overview of home path, what's the qualification, frequently asked questions, how we can help our business. Um, if you guys get bored, just, uh, just yawn and we'll see that and we'll take a break, okay? If we see more than three, three people yawning. About us. Basically, we partner up as a banker with you guys and also a broker. So you'll be able to broker loans out if you're animal licensed through Tiffany, and you can actually get the speed of the banking platform through Jeanette. So we made it really, really simple. Basically, with the warehouse line, we get reduced turn times. We got we can get a deal to docs in about 10 business days. Um, a paper deals fly through. A paper being the keyword here. A paper means in the box. You know, good clients, good credit score, etc. Disclosure. Disclosure is done the same day, appraisal or the next day. 48-hour underwriting approvals and direct lender approval letters. Direct lender. Okay, that's the banking side. Competitive pricing and product options. Uh, somebody <coughs> asked me earlier, can a brand new investor buy a house without any landlord history? And the answer is yes, you can on the banking side. And we beat Bank of America and Wells Fargo rates all the time, so it's very competitive. You said on the banking side? Yeah, there's banking and brokering. to the lender side? Brokering and banking. Brokering and banking. So, so on the broker side, it's not, they're not... On the broker side, it's not as fast. There's disclosure, there's less product options. So if you want to go through brokering side and earn, <laughs> if you're animal's license and earn compensation, you can do that through Tiffany, or you can go through the banking side and get the speed, mainly for purchases. All right, this is actually funded by GMAC on the correspondent channel, and that basically allows us to bank this product. You get minimal down payment, flexible mortgage terms, and borrowers can actually qualify with less than perfect credit. I'm gonna show you a slide where there's a little matrix. It's available for owner-occupied, second home and investment purchase types versus FHA. Anybody know what that means? Prime residence. Okay. A lot of people say first time home buyer, but that's actually not the case. You have to live in the property for how long? One year. One year, good. So home path allows exceptions for investments, and we'll see that in a second. The down payment is 3% down versus FHA, which is 3.5%. And, and this can be borrowers own funds, it can be a gift, it can be a non-profit loan. Okay, everybody remember FHA when you can get the Nehemiah program where you put zero down. So it's kind of back for home path where you can actually take the money from a nonprofit. And I'm sure there's lots out here. Um, no appraisal fees and most importantly, no mortgage insurance. Mm -hmm. All right. So these are the product types that are available. You got your 15 year fix, 30 year fix, and flex versions. High balance. High balance arms, conforming and high balance, and expanded approval. What does that mean in English? That means that sometimes the borrower's credit might not be up to par, but as long as they have a minimum credit score, they might have some collections. As long as the system takes it, we can do the deal. Okay, that's minimum what, credit score being 620. Minimum score being 620, exactly. Okay, the purchase transactions if it's prime residence, second home and investments okay, we covered that. These are the types of properties that are available, one through four unit. Um, my favorite property to sell, fourplex, because to imagine a homeowner, a brand new investor buying it with 3% down. Are, are there any out here? Are there any out here? Fourplexes? Yeah. Certain areas don't have them, so, so you can actually finance it with HomePath. There's a lot of Fannie Mae owned 40 properties. PUDs and condos. Condos we'll talk about in a, sec in a, in a second. There's a little uh, extra work, of course. Uh, modular and leasehold estates. Condo status, uh, there is a Fannie Mae system. They have to check the status for approval. Basically, Fannie Mae has to know about it, and also, it cannot have the word hotel, inn, or lodge in the name of the project, okay? So, 
It's kind of very similar to FHA in that you have to check the condo, condo approval status. These are the eligible borrowers. We have U.S. citizens, permanent resident aliens, mm. non-permanent resident aliens, but you must have a social, so you can have an H-1B foreign national, for example, with at least two years remaining on their H-1B card, and they'll be eligible to buy a home path property. Okay? Rule of thumb is have to have a social, you can't use a TIN number. Those of you that are technical, you can read all this stuff, but basically I'll summarize it. Automated underwriting system, that's what AUS stands for. So we run the deal through the system, the system looks at the credit report and says, I like it, I don't like it, I might like it. Okay? If it says I might like it, what happens? We tweak it until it likes it, right? <laughs> tweak it until it likes it within reason. So that's what AUS stands for. So the system, because it's a Fannie Mae, is called DU, Desktop Underwriter. So we're looking for the approved eligible response from that system. Okay? So whenever you make an offer, once you get this approved, you want to fax this over to the Fannie Mae uh, listing agent with the DU saying approved eligible. Anybody have any questions on that? So qualification and debt ratio. Okay? What do you guys think is better, FHA or home path for debt ratios? The answer is FHA. Yeah. FHA is better because it goes a little bit higher, 57% ratio. Not only that, but both programs allow you to tap into Rich Uncle. Okay, I call it the Rich Uncle because Rich Uncle is never going to move into the property, but he's really rich, so I can actually use him as a co-signer. So both these programs allow it. Now the rule is on the seven year for home path, the seven year fix, seven year amortized over 30, you can qualify it at the start rate. If you go with the five year, you got to add 2%. Okay, FHA says if you choose the FHA five year, you can use the start rate to qualify. What does that mean? That means sometimes you got the borrower that can't quite fit into the program, the ratio is a little bit high. Well, Mr. Borrower, you really love this house? Well, you might have to sacrifice a 30 year fixed loan to a seven year fixed. You get a lower interest rate, and because your interest rate is lower, your payment is lower, and you're able to qualify. But you have to choose at least a seven year fixed option. Any questions on that? The ratios at the bottom, 45 to 50 maximum. That's what the system likes, 45 to 50. Okay, uh, these will be in the website that I'm gonna provide you later, so you have to memorize it. But really simple, primary residence on top, second home investment property. Check it out, as an investor, I can buy a home path owned home, two to four units with 25% down. Well, basically, um, they have a limited time, I forgot, I think it's 15 days, where they sell only to owner occupied people, and then they open up the door for, to investors. Okay? Um, so, you can see on the top one, if you're buying a single family home, you can put 3% down, or if you have subfinancing, what does subfinancing mean? Second mortgage. Second, second mortgage. Where do you get those from? Grandma? From you. For me? <laughs> no, I spent, my money, I spent all my money on gas. DPA? What? The down payment assistance program? Yeah, DAPS. Down payment assistance programs. Okay. Look for your um, neighborhood rehabilita rehabilitation uh, offices around this area, and you'll be able to tap into those. Those are typically 3% interest rate, silent seconds where no payments are due. So you can actually combine it. So I might be able to say here that you might have enough secondary assistance to come with zero down, but I'm not sure in Sacramento. I know in San Jose, it's, it's fine. Middle FICA score is 660 for 3% down, and it drops with more down payment. Okay, these are the standard guidelines. These are the high balance. Um, high balance is about 417. I'll skip the high balance right now. Where can I find these properties? Go to HomePath's website, homepath.com. They must be owned by Fannie Mae as a result of foreclosure or other action, such as deed in lieu. What's deed in lieu mean? They gave it back. They gave it back what? Instead of foreclosure, they gave it back. Instead of foreclosure, they gave it back. Same thing. Uh, sold by Fannie Mae to the borrower or designated as a home path mortgage. Documentation must be provided with the appropriate page printer from the home path website showing that the property was eligible for home path financing. Contract addendums must be checked to confirm that Fannie Mae Special REO financing 
is indicated.